Okay, today we're going to talk about classifying polygons. Classifying polygons. So put that at the top of your page and put today's date in the top right corner. Okay, so when we classify polygons, uh, let's just real quick jot down this chart um, or this table where polygons in the top left, number of sides in the top right, just so we have a quick reference guide. Uh, so for a triangle, we have three sides. For a quadrilateral, we have four sides. For a pentagon, we have five sides. For a hexagon, we have six sides. For a heptagon, we have seven sides. For an octagon, we have eight sides. And for an n-gon, meaning we don't know how many sides, we have n sides. So jot down that chart real quick. And let's move on. We have a couple definitions here. Okay, so two definitions. Polygon and regular polygon. A polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more segments. The ones on the left here are polygons. Okay? The ones on the right are also polygons, but a special kind. A regular polygon is a polygon with all congruent sides and measures. Over here, these are regular polygons because they have all congruent sides and measures. Okay? An equilateral triangle, a square, a regular pentagon, okay, all equal, or sorry, all congruent sides and measures. You don't have to draw these pictures, just uh, write down the definitions. Okay, find the sum of all of the angle measures in a quadrilateral. Now, it says quadrilateral because it doesn't matter what kind of quadrilateral. So I'm going to draw one, I'm going to draw one real quick. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take any quadrilateral and you are going to actually make triangles out of it. Because remember, the triangle sum theorem means that every triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So let's do this. Let's take one point and make as many triangles as we can by going to other points. Not in the middle, but to other points. So here, that splits it into two triangles. So I know that's 180 degrees. I know that's 180 degrees. So any quadrilateral actually has 360 degrees, right? Here, for number two, it says find the sum of the angle measures in a pentagon. It doesn't matter what kind of pentagon. Okay, so there's a pentagon. And I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to draw triangles. I can't go to this one, okay, because it wouldn't it would just make a straight line. So there's one triangle, there's a second triangle, and there's a third triangle. So we have three triangles, and each triangle is 180 degrees. So I'm going to do 180 times 3 and get 540 degrees. So I know that every pentagon has 540 total degrees, the sum of all the angles. That's important, okay? Let's see if we can find a pattern. So here, for this hexagon, it has six sides, right? Well, it has one, two, one, two, three, four triangles. Six sides and four triangles. This has seven sides, this heptagon. And it has one, two, three, four, five triangles. This octagon has eight sides and one, two, three, four, five, and six triangles. There's a pattern there. Six sides, four triangles. Seven sides, five triangles. Eight sides, six triangles. There's a pattern. Here's what it is. 180 times n minus 2, where n is the number of sides in a polygon. Okay? So make sure you write that down. 180 times the quantity n minus 2, where n is the number of sides in a polygon. All right, let's see what that looks like. It says find the angle measures in each regular polygon. Uh, first of all, we know that it has five sides, right? So try to draw this as best you can for number three. I know it's kind of tough. This has five sides. So 
uh, we can plug in, we're going to do 180 times n minus 2 and plug 5 in for n because it has uh, 5 sides times 180. So that's 180 times 3, which is 540 degrees. And remember, we did this over here with triangles, right, for number 2. But here we're just doing it for, um, we're just doing it with the formula. And we get the same thing. But it asks for finding angle measures in each regular polygon. We're trying to figure out what x is. Since they're all the same, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 angles, we're actually going to do 540 divided by 5. Okay? And 540 divided by 5 is 108 degrees. So each, so x is 108 degrees or 108. Same thing for number 4. Uh, it has 6 sides, so we're going to do 180 times n minus 2. I write down the formula every time so that I can kind of remember it. 6 minus 2 times 180. So that's 4 times 180, which is 720 degrees. Now that's the total number of degrees. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 angles. So we would do 720 divided by 6. And each one would be 120 degrees. So y would be 120 degrees. All right. So that's kind of the tough part of the lesson. This next part you've seen before. Okay. I want you to try your hardest to draw this. Ugh, I don't want to have to draw that. But try. Um, so this big thing is quadrilaterals, right? Draw this first. Inside that, so quadrilaterals on the outside, kind of. Inside that, we have parallelograms, right? Two pairs of parallel sides. The reason I'm having you draw this is because that way I don't have to give you all these definitions. Parallelograms, two pairs of parallel sides. Inside the parallelograms, we have rectangles, four right angles, and we have rhombuses, four congruent sides. And where those overlap, we have squares. Four right angles and four congruent sides. And that's right. And all those things are parallelograms. And all those things are quadrilaterals. So that's why we draw it like a Venn diagram. And over here, all by itself, away from parallelograms, is trapezoids. Exactly one pair of parallel sides. So take a minute and write that down. So parallelograms, two pairs of parallel sides. Rectangle squares and rhombuses are all also parallelograms. And are, all those things are quadrilaterals. Squares, four congruent sides. Squares are also rectangles. They're also rhombuses. They're also parallelograms. They're also quadrilaterals. Rectangles, four right angles. Rectangles are also parallelograms and quadrilaterals, but not necessarily squares. Rhombuses have four congruent sides. They're not squares because not, not necessarily squares because they don't have all 90 degree angles. But they are parallelograms because they have two pairs of parallel sides. And they are quadrilaterals because they have four sides. Trapezoids, however, since they only have one pair of parallel sides, are not parallelograms, which means they're not rectangles, not squares, not rhombuses. Okay, now, listen carefully. I'm going to draw a smiley face. I do not want you to draw a smiley face. I do not want you to draw this at all. Okay? Do not draw this. We're going to see who is paying attention. All right. Now, we're going to classify these. Give all the names that apply to each figure. So, this, I know, since it has one pair of parallel sides, it is a trapezoid. Since it has four sides, it is a quadrilateral. It is not a parallelogram because it doesn't have two pairs of parallel sides. It is not a square because it doesn't have 90 degree angles or all congruent sides. It is not a rhombus because it doesn't have all congruent sides. So it's just a trapezoid and quadrilateral. Number six, we have, and try to draw that as best you can. Number six, we have a rectangle. That's the obvious one, right? It is also a parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel sides, right? So it is also a parallelogram. Even though it's not really tilted, it's a parallelogram. It is not a square, even though it has any angles, because all the sides are not congruent. 
It is not a rhombus because all sides are not congruent. But it is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Um, it is also not a trapezoid because it doesn't have one pair of parallel sides. It has two. All right, great job.